Hey guys, quick vlog. Somebody pointed out this article where Walmart is using blockchain technology to improve food safety. So let me just give you a quick summary. They're using blockchain to make it easier for Walmart to be able to track whether or not food is safe. The details are not important. The point of this vlog, and I'll link to the article so you can read it. The point of this vlog is to show that yes, blockchain technology is being used, it's starting to be used. It's a type of database. It has certain qualities and properties that make it very interesting. But here is the thing. It has nothing to do with cryptocurrencies. As I stated in previous videos, blockchain will be used, but people are just going to roll out their own blockchain given the use case of their particular application. So I'll translate into non-nerd. People are going to be using blockchain technology for whatever uses that they have, and they're going to be rolling out their version of the blockchain accordingly. Very short blog. I just want to uh, bring forth information to you guys to have uh, so that you have an understanding of where things are going, how things are going. And I'm trying to take some of the hype out of things, bring in a little bit of reality. So here you go. Blockchain is a good tech. Does that mean you should drop everything and go to blockchain? No, no, no. If you're interested, take a look at it, explore it in a basic level. Look around, see what the opportunities are. I think blockchain at this time is going to be a technology that's going to be used by larger organizations like Walmart. And so if that's your goal to go work for big businesses, then blockchain could be an option for you. On the other hand, if you're interested more in freelancing or working for small business, Blockchain could be, but I think it's going to be uh, something that's going to be more viable a few more years down the road when fig people figure out where blockchain might help in the small business context. I don't know. You have to look into that. Again, as I keep saying and keep hammering on many of my YouTube videos, the key to being a professional developer is to understand your fundamentals because if you go around chasing new tech, new frameworks, new libraries, you're going to be caught in perpetual tutorial hell, meaning you spend all your time doing tutorials and spending no time building things, real things that makes you money. And here's the irony. If you want to learn quickly, the key is fundamentals, then small real projects, and you go from there and you learn on a need to nerd basis. Because a lot of people, they figure, oh, no, I got to learn blockchain. I got to learn Node. I got to learn Python. I got to learn TensorFlow. I got to learn this. I got to learn that. I got to learn this. You don't want to get caught up in that trap. I've been there. I've been there where you hear a lot of hype about a lot of different libraries, a lot of different technologies. And, and it becomes very overwhelming, right? Because there's so much. There's so much. So again, the key is, and any experienced developer will tell you, somebody experienced 10 years plus, they'll tell you that the key is fundamentals, and then you learn what you need to learn on a need to nerd basis. So you learn your fundamentals. Let's say you want to get into the web stack in some form or another. So you do HTML5, you see a three of JavaScript, you learn about HTTP, you learn about the request response model, yada, yada, yada. You learn a bit about databases. I would go with an SQL database first because it's still by far the most widely used. And then once you have that, then you're going to have the nerd eyes. You have the ability at this point in time to be able to discern between technologies, to be able to make the right choices. So then what you can do is you can start looking around at job opportunities in your area, and then you could bone up, learn what you need to learn to satisfy the requirements of those job opportunities. Also, once you have your foundations, you'll be able to learn these things much, much more easily, much, 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 much more quickly. And perhaps even more importantly, you're going to have an idea of what it is to be, for instance, a blockchain programmer or a web app developer with PHP or a web app developer with Python. Or maybe you want to be a mobile app developer in iOS. Until you actually have some coding skills, so you have the ability to see and understand what it is you're looking at, it's very difficult to determine ultimately the type of programming that you want to do. So there you go. All right, that's it for today's quick blog.